Boygo, it's me, Jess, owner of my tarot Piss. Let's see what is coming for you in love this month. The I R G O Boygo. All right, Boygo, this is for now or whenever you, yeah, for this month or whenever you see it, my friends. What's coming for you in love? What do we got? Okay, Eight of Chalices, Ace of Swords. So some of you guys are making a decision to move on from something that has actually been giving you a lot of conflicts. Um, a lot of sort of like, you might have been thinking about this for quite some time and it might be giving you a lot of like mental conflicts. You might be tired of struggling and you might be kind of deciding to free yourself from a situation, um, this month. Okay. So that's kind of what I'm getting here. My friends, I feel like you might have feel like if you're with somebody right now and this won't be for everybody, take what resonates, leave what's not um leave what's not yours but i do feel like for some of you guys you've been like it's like you've been walking on eggshells in a situation where you're feeling like constantly like mentally attacked you might be constantly feeling like on edge or stressed out um some of you guys have been feeling like you're stuck in a situation that is really not serving you well again it's like if you're with a partner, it's like you guys are like, there's cross wires, there's mixed signals. It's like, you're not seeing eye to eye. And for some of you guys, you might feel again, like constantly attacked mentally, or that there's a lot of just like conflict going on. And you're not really sure, like when you're coming or going, where you're, you know, if you're coming or going and this situation might've already ended at one point, And then you tried to kind of figure out a way through to kind of see a solution to solve this problem but it's been causing you a lot more stress than it's worth and so with this ace of swords and this eight of chalices i just feel like some of you guys are making a decision to take a break from a situation to move away or walk away from it to leave it and you're feeling like that's the only way to like truly free myself is if i literally physically remove myself from the situation i cannot be in this anymore because it's just causing me nothing but stress i don't know when the night next fight is coming i don't know when the next conflict is coming like i just i can't do it anymore it's too much so tell me more about this for voigo as always, friends, take what's yours, leave what's not. <laughs> if this isn't your story, you can watch your other placements and when they come out. <laughs> or just come back next month. All right, let's see. Sorry, I dropped two cards, friends. Okay, so you got the Emperor and you got the Seven of Swords. So I do feel like... And then you got the Ace of Wands. I feel like there is some kind of potentially some like deception here that you're becoming aware of or again this could be a situation where you're making plans to kind of sneak away from a situation some of you guys are feeling controlled by somebody it could be that you're in a connection where somebody is it feels like they always have to have the upper hand they always have to be right they always have to have the final say the last word you know what i mean it's like a kind of energy of like you're going to bed angry or frustrated or stressed every night and it's not healthy for you and you're seeing the truth that the only way out is is out and not through <laughs> it's like literally out you're really yeah you're giving you're giving up here you've done your due diligence i feel like you have really tried to see the other person's perspective i feel like you've tried to see all sides of this situation i feel like you've tried to have the conversations i feel like you've made every concerted effort that you possibly can on your part but it's still putting you in this like mental quandary and this in this energy of stress and so right now you're seeing like some of you guys are literally gonna like sneak out in the middle of the night and just grab your stuff and be like bye i'm out um however you do it some of you are ghosting <laughs> um particularly if it's like a newer connection you might just literally ghost somebody you're like i tried but no nah, you're not for me um but yeah for some of you guys you're feeling like controlled and manipulated um, particularly because of the way it's affecting you on a mental level. So you're not having it anymore. And that's like what I have for you, friends. I wish it was happier news, but um, that's somebody's story. Again, if it wasn't yours, don't take it. And um, there will be more. So stay tuned. All right. Sending you so much love. Hang in there, friends.